Thank you, Miss Dale. It's time for children's moments. All the kiddos come oh, down to Miss Tina. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> you can sit on the floor today. Bailey's not here. Oh, Bailey's not here. And for those of you who were not here last week, you missed a treat. I know, because Bailey was here. Who is Bailey? That's right. That's Miss Paula's German Shepherd. She was here for our presentation last week. She did a great job. She did. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about temptation. What is temptation? Jesus was tempted. Yes, he was. Temptation is, is being tempted is being tempted to somebody's trying to pull you to do something that you know is wrong or that exactly. Um, Satan is the tempter. Does God tempt us? No. Hmm, no. The Bible says God is not a tempter. So the old devil is a tempter. He tempted Jesus in the wilderness, didn't he? And um, he really is, he's, he's the tempter. Now, God may um, uh, impress upon us to, uh, to do something. You go talk to that person about Jesus. Invite your friend to church. But he's not a tempter for you to do bad things or wrong things. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. And I have balloons and tacks. What happens when you've got balloons and tacks? Uh, yeah, that stuff, they don't go well together, do they? Oh, no. Okay, you got a balloon. Okay, y'all can, can name him or her. What's, uh, what's their name? Bob. Bob. The, the name is Bob. Okay. Where did Bob go? <laughs> okay, this is Bob. This, is this Pastor Bob? Yeah. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay. We know it's Bob from Minions. Not so bad. All right, I have one tag. Okay, Balloon is a person, represents us, me and you, for Bob. And the tag is the temptation. Okay, yeah, it would be like the devil. That's right. The tack is the temptation. So, Bob is being tempted to what? Um, he's, being, he's being tempted to go and eat at the restaurant and slip out without paying. Oh. And, you know, in some of these restaurants, you can do that because they're just people everywhere. And they expect you, you know, pay up front. So, there you go. Okay, so that would be like stealing, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's, that's one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not steal. Okay, so this is a temptation to not pay for your food at the restaurant. Now, Bob is one of those people that he doesn't come to Sunday school and church every, every week. He, you won't see him on Wednesday nights usually. He does not read his Bible every day. And he does not pray every day. So he's kind of far away from God. He's distanced himself from God. So when temptation comes along, just one temptation, what can happen when he's tempted to do something he knows is wrong? He just, he just collapses and... <laughs> You knew it was coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You just really know it, but, you know. So just one temptation, and because he was far away from God, he was distanced himself from God, that temptation was easy to fall into, and he just blew it. He didn't pay for his food, and he went to walk out the restaurant. So he stole from the people, right? Okay. All right. Now we've got... <laughs> okay. okay, Pastor Bob, so this is Miss Genia, right? Okay. Here we go. All right. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five. I've got a dozen tacks here. That's a lot of temptation, right? 
supposed to be here. <laughs> and what else does Miss Jeannie do? Does she read her Bible every day? She reads her Bible every day. And she what? She prays. Okay. She makes Okay, she, okay well, she teaches lessons to the children. So she's a teacher and she stays close to God, doesn't she? He's in her life. He's in her life every day, right? So when the temptations of life comes along, not paying for the food when you check out, okay, not paying for the food, cheating on the test, lying to your parents. Spending more time on your tablet than you're supposed to, and should I go on and on, be mean to your sibling, okay, all of those temptations. So when all of those temptations come along, this person is close to God. So when the old devil tempts, what happens? Hard enough for the tax to come up. It doesn't pop because this person is close to the Lord, and when the old temptations come, the Lord will help us get away from that temptation. I want to show you a Bible verse today. Very important. The first thing we're going to show you is it's going to say. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. What What does flee mean? Not a dog flee. He'll run. That's right. Okay. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, this is the way I've heard this scripture quoted before. You can't resist the devil in your own power. Amen. You will lose every single time. Amen. When he tempts you, you're going to lose. You're going to pop. Now let's go to the Bible and see what the entire verse actually says. James 4, 7. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The first thing we have to do is, re is submit ourselves to God. We have to stay close to the Lord. Then in the Lord's power, the Lord will help us resist the devil, and at that point he will flee from us. Very important when you are quoting a script, scripture that you do it correctly, okay? Don't just take bits and pieces. you got to do the whole thing. Submit yourself to God, and I promise you, he will keep you away from the temptation. It's happened to me time and time again. He will give you a way out if you just look for it. Okay, who's going to pray today? Who's praying? Joshua, you want to pray? You haven't prayed in a while. You can come pray. Okay, ready? Bow your head. Amen. I love you, boys and girls. Bob, praise you. Praise you, Jesus.